just off the Vegas Strip for our main event of the evening. 12 rounds of middleweight action. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. And it's coming right now. Not seeing much personality out of this ring walk. Johnson's not throwing any fuel onto the fire for his opponent. He's just making his way down to the ring in a way in which he's checking that time card, ready to punch in and get to work. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Here we go. Opening stanza of this 12 round fight. Hits him in the mug with the right. He scores with the jab there. You know, Joe, a lot of times you think about a jab being used by an outside guy, but to get inside, you need a cover. And there, right there, was the cover. Teddy, what role can the fans play on the fighters, the atmosphere of the arena, when they know there's two guys meeting up that can bang? An immature fighter, a less experienced fighter, can get caught up. He can try to satisfy the audience. That's a quick way to be going into the shower earlier than you wanted to. Good defensive skill with the block by Johnson. Johnson's on the bad end of a flush, solid hook. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. That does serious damage, that hook downstairs. Halfway through this round here. The cannon's right hand scores one. Oh, and a crushing hook just gets right to him. Well, that's the classic wet noodle foundation right there. He's on wobbly legs. Yeah, and it's not al dente. It's really, really wet noodles. I'm Good block. The cannon's tagged by a hook. Johnson's opponent landing an effective counterpunch right there. Good way to protect the midsection. Get in there! Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Unable to connect by Johnson. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Come on, come on. And that's the end of round one. Thunder's got to wake up to the fact that he just lost that last round. And the reason he did was because he wasn't efficient. He wasn't accurate. Yeah, he was throwing punches. He wasn't landing many. No, he's throwing them from too far away. They're too wide. He needs to shorten them up, get into better range, and use that jab as a finder. And keep working that jab, okay? Double up the jab and keep moving.
Johnson's back. Look at him here in the start of this round. Remember, he got tagged hard in that last round. Well, that's the reward you get with good camp, and you get yourself in top shape. Able to show you his blocking ability. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Let it go. The cannons left now getting into the mix. Oh, keep working the body. Keep Able working to dismiss the body. that body shot. Johnson's showing us that his legs may not be completely underneath him the way he wants them to be after being stunned earlier. He's really hanging on in there. He's tying up a lot. Yeah, but he's being allowed to. I have to say that right now as a trainer, that he's allowed to do that. His opponent should not cooperate with him. He should take a little step back and make sure he takes advantage. Don't let him tie up. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Not able to land the uppercut. Johnson's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Good jab by Johnson. Body shot! Body shot! Overhand right can be so effective. Keep working the nice body. block by Johnson. Ten clicks of the talk. A stinging uppercut by the cannon. And this round comes to an end. Johnson's effectiveness really damaged his opponent in that I last round. Combinations from now let's throw those combinations we talked about. This fight is real close, so let's see the one, twos, and threes. Are. All right, we need to pull ahead here. This fight is too close. I need you to double up the jab and follow with two or three more punches. Listen, the best defense is to throw punches. And round number three is underway. <laughs> Able to cover up that gut. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. And he engages in the clinch. Now there's the jab. Clinching his opponent. Nobody likes to see that. Gotta try to do better. Wow, what an impressive left hand by the cannon. Shake it up. What a shot. Big hook comes in. The cannon is being damaged right now. Punch after punch is coming in. 
frustrating his opponent with great defense. A big hook to the head by Thunder. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. I see us. Like what I see in there. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Ten seconds to go in this third round. There you go. There you go. And that's Stay round three. Power, okay? Circling away from that power. I need you to keep moving. There you go. Cut his movement off. Keep counterattacking, okay? When he throws, make him miss and count. Breathe. Breathe in. Take a deep breath. Great job there, man. You're doing well. Johnson's up around here after three rounds on Teddy's scorecard, but really nobody has distinguished themselves to any great amount so far. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Come on, let's go. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Hook, hook. Johnson's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. The cannon's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Too much too soon, and now because of that pace that he set, not enough. Now he's starting to look like my kids used to look like when they were little when they ate too much candy. I mean, they were running all over the room, jumping all over the place, and then bang, they crashed. All of a sudden, they hit the sack. Teddy, early on here, you cannot stress enough how much good comes from going to the body. And you can't stress how many times you heard your parents tell you as a kid, put that change into the piggy bank because it's going to add up. Well, body punches add up. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Keep moving! Keep moving! Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. What's the hook? Thunder's punch didn't come close. They're still not moving enough. Not much action as he just ties up. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Stay 
able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. The cannon's doing what happens to many who have been hurt. Now, he was stunned in this fight earlier, and you can see him almost wishing he could put a protective shell around himself. He's just all about the defense right now. Yeah, well, right now, it's got to be all about him trying to be Tom Cruise. He's got to be an act. He's got to look for an Academy Award and stop doing that. If we can see that, his opponent can see that. He has to count his opponent, not let him know that this is what he's feeling. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad, you know? That's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. been hurt by that shot oh boy he is stunned badly he is staggered and hurt and could go down teddy what do you got to be yelling for encouragement if you're the corner well it was a baseball game i'd be yelling for rain <laughs> right now I, I want this stop but what he has to really get is a way to clinch and now looking to hang on Protecting his head well with his guard. <laughs> Thunder's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Ten seconds remaining in this round. We come to the end of this round, and for this fighter, I think that's a good thing because I was looking at him there, Teddy, and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round. Yeah, and that's a bad sign. That means that the gas tank is a little low. He's low on petrol. some more. You good? You all right? Now breathe for me. Now listen, he threw a wide punch and he caught you, so tighten up your punches, all right? Tighten them up. You don't need that. I'm going to throw that away. The start of the sixth round. Johnson's got all eyes on him right now. Everybody wants to see how he'll react after being stunned in that last round. 
and now just wasting everybody's time holding on. The Cannon's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Missed that uppercut. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Cannon's doing something that not everybody appreciates, but he is making his defense a major factor in this fight. Yeah, well, a lot of times people, you know, they only get it done on one end. What I mean about that is, you know, offensively, they use the jab, they use aggression to set up the offense, but he uses defense to set up the offense. He, he has a double-edged sword. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Keep moving! Keep moving! Focus! Focus! What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by the cannon. Yeah, baby. Good work. Good work. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. Working our way towards the bell, last 10 seconds of the sixth. This has been a hotly contested war throughout, and you just have a sense that it's gonna end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. This fight is too close. You hear me? We it's it. too close. We don't want this to go to the judge's right. scorecard, right? Up there, that's it. Okay, this is what he misses with a punch, counter. Halfway through this fight as this round gets underway here. Been interesting so far. Who knows what we're in store for down the stretch. to the body there, but unable to connect. Very nice defensive guard there. Able to dismiss it. Yeah! Good work! At the halfway point of round seven. 
He just missed that shot up top. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Gets rid of that body shot. Keep that head moving. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Get him, get him. <laughs> Work the body! Great movement to get away from those punches. Thunders on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. And this round comes to an end. I need another round just like that, all right? You're doing good. You just can't move around. You gotta move with your hands in there. Let them things go. There you go. You're okay, don't worry. You're doing just fine, all right? I just need you to move your head more from side to side. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard as we start this eighth round. And I think this tells pretty much the story. Yeah, he's got a slight lead. However, there have been those moments where you see a defensive flaw. Yeah, the other guy's coming on fast. The defensive flaw is that he covers up too much. He blocks too many punches. And when you're blocking too many punches, while the guy puts punches together, some are going to get through. Some are getting through. away from those headshots with his defense up top. Good defense just covering up down low. The halfway point of round number eight. The cannon's making for a very frustrating round now for his opponent because he's moving so much. He's really utilizing that ring and showing that he's got the better footwork. Yeah, he's doing what the old times would say, Joe. He's giving angles, keeping his opponent off balance. His opponent is strong but he needs to be set to punch. He's making sure he doesn't allow him to get set. Doesn't give him that kind of landscape. One, two, one, two! One of us, one of us! Good looking right hand after he got hit. Work. 
Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. Thunder's trainer right now is telling him, hey, we can pull this fight out. You may be trailing. There's not much left, but it's still there. You can still go out there and get this win. Not giving me enough punch. Keep it up. Keep it up. That's it now. Nice workout. Keep fighting smart and keep busy. Don't take a break with this guy. I need to see some counter punches. Okay? Whenever he misses, count. I got more. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. He missed with that headshot. Johnson's got to be careful here, Teddy, because he can't stay like this. Yes, he's throwing punches, but not being effective at all. No, he's not. He's not landing. And that's bad for the scorecards, but as he continues doing this, it's going to be bad for his chin because he's going to start now getting counted. As time goes by, the more he misses, now his opponent's going to start doing the other part. He's going to come back and take advantage of those misses. And the right hand comes into play by Johnson. Ninety seconds into the ninth round. Thunder's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Hey, keep your feet moving! Job, buddy. Johnson's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Thunder's not the kind of guy that's going to float like a butterfly at all. He's more like an elephant just camped out. And he's getting stung hey, by a lot of bees right now for dude, camping let's out. Go. Keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> and he's holding. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old times used to say when you calm in there, when you're controlling there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. <laughs> Teddy, what advice would you be giving to this charge if you were training him, knowing he's coming off of a good solid effort in that last round and likely is up in a close fight? Well, you know, sometimes I'm not sure what to tell a guy. But I know what not to tell him. I wouldn't tell him he's up. I wouldn't tell him to let up. That's one thing for sure. I tell him, keep doing the same things you're doing. Stay right with it. Deep breath. Deep breath. Good job. All right, baby. You got to take a chance. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Pace yourself. Right. Pace yourself. You're doing good. Double up your function. Oh, 
Oh, what a whiff by Johnson. was something special. The Cannon's been able to avoid having any of his opponent's headshots landing flush. And what his opponent has to do, Joe, is making it. what we used you to tell the one. fighters, when a guy's elusive, like this fighter is right now, you have to shorten your punches up. Shorten them up a little bit, have less space to travel. They have a better chance of getting to that elusive target. He scored well after being hit himself. Johnson's able to avoid that punch. One, two! One, two! One, two! One, two! One, two! Punch! 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 Do that again. That looks good. Do that one more time. Beat him to the punch! So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. Nice work. Nice work. Jab. Pop the jab. Use the jab. Use the jab. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Counting down towards the end of the 10th round. 10 seconds to go. I need combinations together, you understand? It's not like this guy's doing a whole lot. You just gotta work. You gotta get there and be first. You have to be first in there, okay? You have to start loading up on those punches. This is the white belt. You're winning this fight. It's not going to Just keep doing what you're doing, and you've got this. Just keep doing what you're doing. You gotta watch the water so, in the corner. Too much style. He's got nothing left. Okay. Round number eleven here, and I'm looking at your scorecard. The cannons hope for winning this fight, not yet cemented. He still has a lot of work to do. No, that cement takes time to settle. You know, it takes time to set. And you can still move things around while it's still soft. It's up to his opponent. Does he want to move things around? How much does he want this? You're doing great! You're not focusing. You're not focusing. And he just holds on there. Work with the left hand by the cannon. Keep pushing. Blocks that belt line well. There you go. Uppercut is wide. Uppercut, baby. Come on. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Uppercut! Uppercut! His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Nice strike after catching one by Thunder. 90 seconds to go in this 11th round. The cannon's defense is paying off now. Keep moving! Keep moving! Where's the body? 
Good way to protect the midsection. Do it again. <laughs> A good block. Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. Thunder's proving to be a loose. Johnson's in bad shape. Put him away. Wow, saved by the bell. That's like something out of a movie here. Yeah, except nobody's coming in there and saying cut. You know, he has to keep going here. Right now, the only thing he knows is he's got flashbulbs going off in his head. If you don't throw punches, I'm gonna stop this one. Now, come on now, keep throwing punches. Keep your hands up, all right? Keep your guard up. You have to keep your hands up. Final round of this scheduled 12 round. I'll tell you what a courageous battle this has been. Nobody thought this fight would go to distance. Nobody thought it. Not able to land the headshot. That's what I want to see. Way through this 12th and final round. Double up your punches. Come on. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Able to dismiss that body shot. Time to bring it home. Final minute of the final round. seconds to go in this the final round you can see he's trying to score up top but off here's one for you now he says right back with the left hand Teddy who would have ever thought it two guys like this brawlers punchers that it would go to a decision yeah exactly I mean you thought you were gonna get a firework display 
and you wind up getting a little bit of painting. Seemed like he was destined to win throughout the fight. Teddy, your scorecard showed that, and the judges agree, a unanimous decision. Yeah, he was destined to win because he kept using that jab all night long and outworking his opponent. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.